All right, in this video, we want to set ourselves up to where we can use our custom character movement component that is provided in the plugin. So as you can see, here's my tutorial character, and it is using the default character movement component. And if we head over to the C++ example character that I provide with the plugin, this one is using the FPS character movement component. So it's its own custom movement component that handles things like sprinting and all of that for you. So to begin, what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to reparent our tutorial character class here to be, well, using the C++ class. So just that's really the only way I think of that we can get around this. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to just right click on content and let's see, no, sorry, go to add slash import and we want to add, hang on, let me figure out where this is. This is the first time I've actually ever done this from a blueprint project. Okay, so duh, it's right here. So you go to file, new class, and here we're just going to do character and we'll throw it right well i guess just in the root because it doesn't really matter all that much so we're just going to call this one tutorial character and create the class so this is going to take a little bit to do uh, this assumes you already have things like visual studio and all that installed as i'll actually be loading this up inside of visual studio to try and help you i guess if this is something you're not familiar with instead of using my traditional writer. So I'll see you once this is done. Okay, so it has finished. And if we go to C++ classes, you'll see it has added our tutorial character as well as this C++ classes section. Now, if you don't have that and it said something in regards to like could not reload or something like that, just close down the editor and relaunch it. But for now, we're going to go ahead and actually just reparent it to this tutorial character. So if we go to our B, our blueprint class right here, go to class settings. Here we have the parent class. We're just going to search for tutorial. And here you'll see the tutorial character. Now let's see, which one is this? Engine. So I guess that can actually be ignored. I'm not sure what that is, but this should be our tutorial character like so. And now we are good to go. So just using our tutorial character class that we just made. So any change we make to the C++ class, it should be inherited from our blueprint. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to close down the editor and view my project directory. So if you look here, you'll see that we now have a solution. So what we're going to do is you can just open that up if it's already set to Visual Studio. I want to open mine up in Visual Studio 2022. Uh, 2019 is just fine as well. I think 2022 should be okay. But just for the sake of it is a lot faster than Visual well, than the previous versions. So this is going to take a while to actually load finish setting up so I would if I were you I would just launch it up like I just did and go grab something to eat all right so I use that time to do a couple other things but basically you should be met with a screen like this and over here you'll see your solution explorer we're gonna go to games here's your project name source project name again and here you will see the FPS plugin sorry the tutorial character dot cpp and dot h so we want to double click on both of those just to load it up. Now, basically it should just be a very bare bones character. So it's just everything it just inherits from a character, you know, it's nothing fancy. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is include it into our .cpp. So here, I'll just go ahead and show you. So I have a point of reference if you want to copy and paste where you're kind of scratching your head. So basically if we go over here to plugins, here you'll see my plugin. So we're going to go to source, open up the project name again, go to private, go to actors, and open up the character.cpp. And here I can show you exactly what you're going to be doing. So basically, you have this constructor here. So AFPS template character. So a constructor basically is just going to be your class name. So in this case, it is tutorial character, tutorial character. So no difference there. Now, the only other thing that we are going to want to do is as you can see here, we are calling super and modifying, or sorry, passing in what character movement component we're using, or we want to use, using the object initializer. So here you can see it is UFPS character movement component, and then we set it for the character movement component. So this is basically going to be the name that we pass in. So you basically are just passing in text to tell it what to assign it with. So what we can do is we can copy this entire constructor like this. I figured this would probably be the easiest way. Go to our tutorial character.cpp, highlight there, and hit paste. 
Now the only thing we have to do is change out a FPS template character with a tutorial character, just like this. Now the last thing that we have to do is because it takes in a parameter and our current constructor here does not, we want to copy what is inside of the braces and paste them inside of the braces in our dot h, like so. And then that'll fix that. Now the last thing that we have to do is go ahead and fill out, or sorry, include this character movement component. So that character movement component, what we can do is just do hashtag include space, and here in the uh, quotation marks, we want to basically have this path here. So it's going to be under components, FPS character movement component. Now it may not come up, but let's just check. So components, FPS underscore character movement component dot h. And then that should basically be the path. Now let's see what it's complaining about. Okay, so it may be complaining because we might have to include this in our build.cs as well. But for now, let's just right-click on our project and hit build just to see if it compiles. Okay, so you will see here that we have a bunch of complaints. Now, the reason for this is because this class where it's at, it doesn't know about the module of our plugin. So basically, this plugin here, this is considered a module. So we need to figure out a way to tell our... Uh, our project here, so everything under source, what this module is, like how, how do we know where it is kind of thing. I guess that's one way to describe it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our project name dot build dot cs. So double click there. And here you'll see a list of public dependency module names. So here's where we want to add our module. So our module is going to be ultimate FPS template. So here at the very end, we're just going to add another one. So we're going to do comma space and inside of our quotes, we're going to do ultimate FPS template, just like that. Now we're going to right click and build it again. Okay, and once that's done, you should see that it has succeeded. So now we can close the build.cs and everything else. It's still going to complain, but that is something you will have to get familiar with if you're using Visual Studio with Unreal Engine without any extra plugins or anything like that, as it does a lot of these very annoying complaints just because IntelliSense is not very intelligent. But anyways, once this is done, what we can do is go ahead and close down out of Visual Studio and relaunch our project. So let's go ahead and load it back up. Okay, so let's go back to our tutorial folder, open up our character, and if we hover over the character movement component, you can see now it says FPS character movement component. So if we click on it, now we have our own custom section here for the FPS template. So here we have, you can actually ignore prone, that's going to be taken out, it's not functional currently. But everything for sprinting is. So here's where we have a bunch of different controls. So like our sprint speed, so basically our max, like this is how we control how fast we sprint, and everything like that. So we have the move direction tolerance, so this is basically what it kind of dictates as to switch between movements. So like forward, left, right, backwards. We have the option of can only sprint forwards. If this is checked, we cannot run sideways or backwards at all. So this is kind of like, um, if you're familiar with Battlefield Bad Company 2, I believe this game did it. Or actually, a better one would be uh, Rust. So, you know, that big open world game where if you're running straight and you hold down D or A to go kind of kind of strafe and run at the same time, it stops you from running. That's what this option gives you. Next up, we have Sprint Sideways. This allows you to run left and right without having to run forwards. So if we check that, we have the ability to do that. And here we can control the speed at which we can run left and right without moving forwards. Same thing goes for backwards. And here we have all the things related to crouch. So this uses the crouching and the character movement component as well. So we can have the options and control to sprint or run while we are crouching. So I'll cover more of this when we actually set up sprinting in the next video. So I will see you then.